Get great deals on the latest phones, tablets, and business apps with O2 Business. Apple's just announced the iPhone SE. What's it all about? Well, it's an iPhone 6S in an iPhone 5S's body. That's it, you can go home now, I am done. Unless you wanna know what that actually means. Inside you've got an A9 chip, that's the processor, it's the power behind the phone itself. Apple's also paired it with an M9 motion coprocessor. So that means the same graphical performance and performance in general as the current flagship, but with a low resolution screen which places even less pressure on it, it could actually be a little bit more powerful. What's also cool is the fact you've got the coprocessor in there. That means you get the same Apple health benefits, step Counting, fitness tracking, etc., as you get on the flagship 6S and 6S Plus. The same camera too, 12 megapixel eyesight camera, no optical image stabilization, but you do get 4K video recording on board. There's also voice recognition from off, so the Hey Siri functionality, sorry if that just turned on your phone. You've also got NFC as well as Touch ID, which means Apple Pay works a treat and you can secure unlock your device. For $399 for the 16 gig version, this is the cheapest iPhone Apple has has ever launched, but we wouldn't recommend you pick one up at that capacity. Opt for the $499.64 gig variant, which is still pretty affordable, especially if you are into your four inch screen phones. As far as the design goes, you can also pick it up in a rose gold variant for the first time ever for a four inch iPhone. Available to pre-order from March the 24th, you can buy one from the 31st. Hopefully you enjoyed this quick overview. If you did click that thumbs up button, like BTECT, subscribe. It's how you'll stay on top of everything that we do. Thanks for watching. Get great deals on the latest phones, tablets, and business apps with O2 Business.